All right, so Simon, your director, has been with the franchise for 19 years in different capacities of producer, screenwriter. How would you, what would you say he brought as a filmmaker and a director's chair? Oh, uh, my gosh. He, it, it was so interesting watching him directing, and I've never seen him more happy in a position yeah. than he was when he was directing. It was, it, it felt very natural to him, I think. It was kind of like breathing for him. Mm. I mean, I think he's kind of born to be a director. He's so... Because he's a writer, mm. he's already very, very collaborative. You know, he's always taking on notes from lots of people and, you know, from the actors who say, I don't know about this line or whatever. And so immediately he was incredibly collaborative um, right from the point that we met about the movie. Mm. Um, and he brings such a positive energy. He's so talented. He knows how to work with actors so well because, you know, he's done it for so many years mm. and he knows these movies like inside and out. Inside yeah. out, like the back of his palm. So I found it very moving uh, when you mentioned that uh, you find playing her as a, a way to address mental Ill illness. Was that something that you thought that was in the script as a metaphor, or, or did that something that you brought to the table in terms of your way in and to the character? It was kind of our way into the character. I mean, you know, it's all of these kind of very spectacular things that are happening to her, these fantastical things that are happening to her, but it very much resembled uh, all of these things that were happening to her were not unlike schizophrenia mm -hmm. and dissociative identity disorder and addiction. Mm. Um, and so those were the three things that we really focused on. Um, and mental health means, you know, mental illness and, and mental health uh, plays a big kind of role in my life. And so it was, it was very exciting to be able to bring that to the character. To the work. And I think it's going to resonate with, the, with a lot of people watching yeah, the movie. I'm so looking forward to do, seeing what you did. Uh, the other thing is... Is it different, because the, the both characters that you played it, they're f have fantastic arcs and they're fantastic characters, but with one you had sort of 10 years to sort of take her from A to C, yeah. and this one you sort of have more compressed time. Yes. Is it a different acting challenge to sort of do that leap of an arc uh, oh. uh, when you have such less time to do it? Absolutely, I think, you know, every time I would come back to Game of Thrones, I, I didn't need to do any preparation. I had grown up with this character I, I, and nothing really happens in between. So I, you know, I was just kind of um, growing with the character as she grew. Um, and it was quite easy. But with X-Men, you know, we, we hop from X-Men Apocalypse to Dark Phoenix and it's been 10 years. And mm. so you have to do a lot of background on that. You have to do to convey that. a lot of, yeah, you have to do a lot of preparation in terms of looking at the comics, at the old movies, at all of these interpretations of, of the characters. Um, so there's a lot more preparation that goes into it, and it's a lot, you know, it's a lot harder because Game of Thrones, you have 10 hours to show, uh, you know, this um, extensive story arc um, for one season. Uh, but for us, it's like, an hour and a half movie, two hour movie, and you have to have a really, um, you know, a very quick moving story arc. Um, and so it just meant a lot of emotional scenes and uh, all kind of compressed into, <laughs> into <laughs> two hours. All right, so my time's up. Pleasure so much talking to you. Thank you, you okay so much.